Joseph Beach, you're welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Be very careful who you have kids with. A very, very important topic can never be stressed too much. Let's get it. Be very careful about who you have kids with. I, I hate to say that. Like the choice to have children with some listen, you get divorced, all they can really do is take your stuff, you know, and you can always make more money. Like, I, I don't mean to be glib about that, but it's just money, you know, and, and money offers real solutions to imaginary problems and imaginary solutions to real problems. So I, I, I think money is a good thing to have. I've, I've been poor and then I've had money and have money's better. Um, but I got to tell you, when you have a kid with somebody, God, they have leverage over you. It's unbelievable the leverage they have over you because you, most people love their kids, you know, more than anything. It's like the most profound kind of love they've ever experienced. And you know, um, when you have a co-parent who hates you pathologically, I have seen people use children to just torture someone for, I would say for 18 years, but even past that, even past that, it's a lifetime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're going to have, you're going to have grandkids with that person. What a great video. Very important to remember as much as we talk about women holding access to sex and which they do. Men can also decrease the degree at which they allow the possibility of a woman getting pregnant. And that begins with the type of woman you entertain. You know, there's certain women who you, you, you can look back on in your dating life and say, man, if I'd have had a kid with that woman, I would have been miserable. You know, you, you, certain chicks, you know, like I should not have been messing with that chick. She was crazy. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, man. You'd be, you be on your Instagram and see some crazy chick who you used to, you know, have a thing with, not seriously, and she post a picture of an ultrasound. All you can think about is which unlucky bastard got this chick pregnant and be glad it isn't you and to men who are out here playing with fire and not being responsible not you know if, if you're going to be out here and if you're going to be having sex at least wrap it up Plain and simple. Because the difference between the type of stress you experience um, having drama with some chick and you're fighting and bickering and you know the relationship's coming to an end is nothing compared to you realizing that the relationship will never come to an end. Because I've heard people say, you never really get divorced if you have children. And he said something that was even deeper. He said, the person who you decide to have children with is, a, is the same person who you will have grandchildren with. I'm like, whoa, that's deep. No one thinks that far. You just think, oh yeah, when the kid's 18, but what, what about when the kid's 18 and now they have another kid and now it's like, oh, grandma and grandpa. Unfortunately, some men can speak and attest to this and say, yep, don't do what I did. And guys, I welcome you to comment down below. Have you experienced the hell that comes with having a child with the wrong woman? And what would you say to somebody who is playing with fire right now or needs to rethink how they might move forward? Or what advice would you give to somebody who, you know, looking back on your life, if you've maybe gone through that experience and you are at the tail end of it, your your children are older, what would you tell to 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 a young man who's um wondering what the future holds? Comment down below. As always, we're gonna check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. This first commenter says, learned the hard way. Sixteen hundred likes on that one. Just followed by another comment here from a woman that says the way people just meet and are pregnant three months later is what gets me. 
Another comment here says, my father said this to me around 16, 17, and it stuck to me with the exclamation mark. I did not have kids with any of my exes, and I am so happy about it. Good for you. There's also the avoiding being a single mother and uh, a single father as well. It's just more stress. It's more stress for you. It's more stress for everybody. Another comment here says this video should go viral. This is a clear message that many don't get. A lot of people treat kids today like accessories. You know, you, uh, the, the amount of chicks I run into, bro, who will be like, I just want to have a baby. Like, I just want to have a baby. And you're sitting there like, yeah, but you, there's no man in sight to help you. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I, baby fever. It's like, man, don't you know that's a real human being who's going to have to suffer and you along with that human being and you want to set yourself up so that you have the best type of partner and this single mother epidemic, especially that's the most prevalent in the black community. Yep, we're, we're heading towards that direction in the conversation needs to seriously be dealt with the only decisions you have power over are yours you can do that another comment here says be cautious but no guarantees in life everything is a risk mitigate it but life is not perfect this is true there are people who have gotten it's like there, there's that too right by just Vir virtue of just happenstance people get into certain relationships and things seem like okay looks like i've got a good woman here and she's respecting me things are going well then out of nowhere boom you find out she's crazy another comment here says true mine ruined my life here's a chick here talking about how man ruined her life who she i'm assuming had a kid with another comment here says as an obgyn yes most important thing somebody else here says feeling this currently just gotta pace yourself it is a marathon and it will never end well i thought he was gonna have some good news there at the end of that sentence <laughs> guys listen as always i'm curious to know what do you think um comment down below as always i appreciate you guys for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot till next time i'm out peace